this is the latest next space dash cam the model is the 522 gw um, i've got it here with the next base 32 gig u3 micro sd card which should be perfect for the job and we'll have a little look at what we get inside the box welcome thank you for purchasing quick start guide and the real deal so we got the, I'll put the card to one side we've got the dash cam which has got a built-in polarizer and in this little box here on the right side all the accessories that we're going to need for installation that's the 3m mount the first thing you will notice over the previous models uh, from next base is the size it's a lot smaller much better profile from the windscreen there's also the suction mount again quite small compared to the previous models the tool to get your wiring inside your headliner etc spare 3m always useful connecting cables and the power lead they say please charge the just cam at least two hours indoors before use etc etc And you can put this straight into your 12 volt outlet it's got the same fitting on the end here that you'll get in the previous um, 422 522 sorry 512 612 etc um, so you can if you've already got a hard wire kit in place in your car you can just upgrade the camera using the existing wiring which is very useful if we open up the dash cam package itself what everybody wants to see nice and tidy nice and small slot for the memory card power button USB outlet and the H HD out or rear cam this is the interesting part that a lot of people will be quite intrigued by this here is where you can plug in the modules for looking into the back of the car either into the cab or through the rear screen depending on which model of rear cam you go for the base clips into the front of the dash cam much cleverer much more tidy and very magnetic I think you'll find this is we'll give it a quick go here wow straight on that is a very good fit do that one smart oh, there you go that is clever okay what we'll do now is get it in the car, get some videos running, and uh, we'll see what it all looks like once it's up and running. Okay, thank you.